What's up guys? Welcome back to another video today. We are back with some more Farming Simulators 2022. We are back on that rotation getting into more videos. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one. But we also got to go and pick up some cars today. We're going to be jumping in the GMC, which is the Ford GMC 6 liter V8 power stroke. So we got to go and pick up five, I think, five new cars that we've gotten. I have a 2022 Cadillac, a Dodge Ram coming. And that one is the SEMA truck. Let's just jump in this, get my trailer up. Let's go. We got our jump in this big beast that we got right now. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. I'll leave the link. So, usually, if you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel, any mod that I physically drive, that's the only way I'm going to. Uh, terminus any mod that i physically touch or drive any mods of cars or anything of that i will literally put into my link in the description so you guys can download those mods you guys can go check them out for yourselves um so while we're on our way to the location to go pick these cars up i'm going to tell you guys what's been happening and what's been happening is I haven't been able to record in a very long time because every time I try to play Farm Simulator, it always ends up lagging or just looking very bad. So what I did is went and bought a new graphics card. Now the graphics card I was on was a GeForce, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750. So it was beyond old. Like they don't even have the, the 750s anymore. So what I went and bought, um, well, I, I would do like a story time. So story time, I just wanted a better graphics card. So what I did was I went to this place called Micro Center. It's in Charlotte, if you guys are aware of that center. But that place is probably the most, I would say, better than Best Buy. So these are all the cars. We have a 2023 Ford Bronco, a Cadillac 2022 Cadillac, a Dodge Ram 3500, and we got a Jeep. A, a Dodge Ram, which is also a SEMA truck. So we're gonna load these up, take them on over to my shop, which you guys will also see. But while I load these cars up, I'm going to tell you guys more story time. So pretty much what happened was, I just wanted a better graphics card to be able to take, um, to take more of what I wanted to do, which was, Play these games especially this one this is the one i played the most at all the games this is the one i played the most so i was just like you know i love this game and this game is one of the ones i play so i asked him you know what is a better graphics card to go to so he wanted to get me a 350 but in order for me to three see a 350 he wanted to see what my power supply was so if you guys aren't very aware of graphics settings like that um your power supply usually determines what you can run so i'm on a 550 so i he wanted to get me to a three i think a 350 a 360 a 3060 so if i did i would have to probably go up in performance part so i was like okay that's a little bit more on the money side and i didn't want to go for that so i just you know ask him different questions and um he was pretty much just more like you know if you want to upgrade your stuff you can i didn't know this was a two car but hey story time so that's fine let's get these cars loaded up so i can take them down to the shop you guys can see the shop while i'm down there get these cars loaded up oh yeah this thing is squatted because how much weight is on it all right let's go in Fasten all of these. All patched. Start the engine. Raise this arm back up. We're gonna make sure that they're all rams are up. Oh, all right, they are. Let's get up out of here. So we're gonna go the back way. The reason I'm going the back way is because it's a little shorter. Let's go the back way. So. What happened was I just didn't want to go and spend all that money on a graphics card. Now, the cost of the three, the 3060 was 
he had a refresh one and he had a new one the refresh one i don't really see the difference um and that's another thing i'm just going to let you guys know refurbished doesn't mean that it's bad it just means someone had it before probably didn't work for them they probably wanted something more high powered and they just returned that's all it is it's the same thing it's nothing different to it they just didn't probably didn't like it and just moved on from it. so i pretty much went and was just like you know was like okay i just want to get some little more information about it and that was it that's it. there's nothing wrong with just getting information just seeing what you could afford and what you can i'm not saying i couldn't afford that but physically did i want to pay 200 dollars for a graphics card no so what i did is i went on best buy to see what best buy had now again micro center is probably beating best buy when it comes to customer service and you know actually helping everybody out with what they need that is 100 percent true but i just went just to see what they would have so they did have the 1050 now 1050 was in the um the range of how much of the bat of the power unit or the power power supply that i have so 550 is my power supply so i can only run some under it or over it or even at the minimum so it has to be either at 550 or even lower than that so once i seen how much it was it was only i only paid 182 dollars way cheaper than the other one and it is a 1050 but 1050 i don't have to sit there and struggle to play games i can still play all my games completely fine i'm sorry that you're looking sideways as i ooh, and drift on it um as you know I don't have to struggle to play games all the time and this is the main game i play the most anyways if anybody knows me in this channel they know farming simulator is one of the games that i play the absolute most so i don't really bug when it comes to other games um but you know but yeah so i just went and bought that installed it and it works flawless i so anytime if you guys have ever seen previous videos, anytime I would pull up to a like how I would have these mods, I would pull up to a certain shop that I would download for a mod and it would lag as soon as I would get in it. That's how it is. Now I can get into any mod and still get into any car. All right, let's go ahead and put these ramps down. Yeah, so this shop is still up and coming. It's not 100% yet. Go ahead and open these doors up. I gotta open this door. So yeah, so this shop is up and coming. We haven't really finished everything yet. Let me move these cars around. We're gonna have to take some out, put some inside. I might leave some of these outside, maybe. I think like just the more useless ones, or not useless ones, but the ones that are not really crazy so mostly what it seems like i'm always pushing towards the like domestic one because these are pretty much all the domestic ones right here and then you have this, the two sports cars i might leave the sports cars in the front like right in the edges yeah that, i think that's what i'm gonna do like right here yeah just so it's already facing the shop and then we'll put the porsche on there on this uh, edge right here i'm just moving some cars around to make room for some of these other ones so yeah anytime i would have so many cars in this game it would lag so badly now i can put as many cars probably as i want and it still will not hurt it. This in here. There we go. 
go all right so now we're gonna bring in the ford bronco and the dodge rams let's go ahead and uh hit this i'm fastening all those so we can get those cars off jump in the raptor or the bronco i think it's the raptor right or is the bronco right yeah bronco oh bronco raptor oh it is okay i was right but yeah so this one is probably get sold very soon um i don't know i think this one would be sold pretty soon the reason i say that is because it's just a four four bronco raptor like this is probably more the offense one the uh off-road ones but i don't know i think this one gets sold quick and obviously you know definitely dirty now this one i don't know it might not get sold because how big it is. and it's not that many places you could drive this around let's go ahead and get this thing off i don't know if this thing is going to fit in that door i might not be it might not be able to for how big it is i don't think it is because how wide it is so i might put this one if this one doesn't fit in that door i might put this one on the showroom but i think it will oh that's pretty like that's pretty close but this one has to get worked on so we're just gonna leave it right here if someone does hit me up with an offer i will um i'm gonna leave it right here if someone does hit me with an offer i will this is also the other car we have which is the shelby um f-150 this one's pretty nice i mean for how um loud it is but let's do the cold start on it because i love the cold start cold start it that's the best part about this truck and it is also it has a goose it has a uh a winch on it so not a winch but a you can put a trailer on it pull whatever weight that you want off of this we're definitely gonna have this thing one day. i'm gonna probably change the color of it maybe but i like the silver with the blue because it kind of fits that shelby mindset of it so yeah we'll leave that porsche out here and then we'll leave the corvette right there and i might put another car maybe in front maybe i don't know or maybe with some other cars but i like how this looks right now but let's go ahead and get some other ones and then we'll go back to story time let's go get those other i think three i think it's two left right yes yeah, it's, it's two left and then probably next video whenever we get back to the shop i'll explain what we're really going to do to this shop um and again you'll see it would be actually a little better when i add all the stuff to it you know yeah next video will probably be us actually working on the shop and actually getting it to look a little bit better than what it looks like right now right now it's still in a work in progress i have missing cars and stuff on there so we'll see but yeah i didn't want to go with a 30 60 so i went, went at 10 50 just to play the game that i want which is this one this is the one that makes most of the sense on the channel and i've seen it and you might have those little quick lag spikes but that's it it's nothing serious and nothing that's just gonna stop the game Ooh, with that trailer so i just stick with what i got and keep it going so but i would say you know i would definitely listen to the expert's mindset first before you know i go and do a unnecessary purchase and that one really wasn't unnecessary i just needed something better than what i had so i was 100 percent happy with just buying the 1050 and again if i need to go to a um 30 i could and the best thing about it i can just go get it plug it in see what happens or i could always go on ebay I, I know a lot of people go on ebay and just get the cars or not get the cars ooh, get the graphics cards and put them in work and it doesn't get no problem so that's what i might end up doing but right now i think i'm just enjoying it right now so we're just gonna do what we gotta do
go up here. Ooh, ooh. You wobble. And yeah, so we gotta go get these last two cars. Once we get these last two cars, then we'll pretty much be done for the day. And but I'll give you guys a game plan on everything on pretty much what we're going to be um pretty much what we're gonna be building with the shop. I don't know. Just pretty much building custom cards, that's really it. We'll come in here. We'll load these two up and that'll be it and we'll go head back to the shop drop these off so usually what I do is I usually do the outside of the shops first so I don't ever touch um like what we do outside the shop I always do that first it's easier to get that done and then get the um working on the actual parts I might end up maybe changing my house around Kind of something a little bigger or maybe something a little less uh i don't know maybe something a little bit more controlling like if you know what i mean like yeah i might have my shop and then you have my ain't that big um then i might have my what's the name then i might have my actual shop at home but that's just for my custom that's not for like custom customer cars or cars that I need to sell I don't know if this car is going to fit because how big it is ooh yeah, we might have to let you go come back I don't know maybe I might be able to I mean I could sit it right here yeah so what I'm going to do I'm going to sit it right here put the winch, uh, put the what's his name now fasten them and then I'm just gonna bring the ramp up just a tad. Just so it's like tapping. Okay, there he is. So that's that's the max I can do. We're gonna go right, right let me see how we're gonna run to the back. Check that out. Oh that's in the truck. Okay, take that back. Go back right there. Okay, let me see how that. A little bit more. Just so it's like more realistic. Not too realistic, but realistic. Okay, that's good. So we can do that. Alright, so we can leave that ramp up like that. That's fine. So now we're going to go take these two cars back to the shop. And you guys can pretty much just enjoy this. But I'm going to have more videos of Farming Simulator come out. Um, this one will probably be out. Maybe. Um. I don't know. This video will be out good though. I'm not so what I'm gonna try to stop doing is stop saying, oh this video is gonna be out Monday because whenever I do upload this, it's not gonna be Monday. Or what I'm gonna try to do is if it does come out Monday, have it scheduled to come out Monday. So I'll upload it, I'll edit it tonight, upload it today, and then have it scheduled to come out tomorrow. Cause today is pretty much Sunday so I'll have it scheduled to come out Monday and then have other videos come out but I'm gonna try to do videos every other day or every other two days so if I have one out Monday I'll have one come out Wednesday or Thursday but try to upload a little bit more videos so so at probably after I do this video you know delivering cars to my new shop then I'll probably do one more which will probably be us actually working on on the exterior of the shop oh oh no oh that is luck but oh no i might be stuck Let go of the trailer and do it. There we go. 
Oh, thank God I had the power to do that. Just imagine if you didn't have that power to do that and you got stuck like that. It would hate. Oh, that would hate. You would hate that. that happened. Okay, we gotta get right on top of it. Yeah. There you go. Alright, so now we're good. Thank God I saved it to where I could let go of that trailer. Oh, that was just gonna be a headache if I was just a flip. Or go right off the bridge with those cars. Oh. That would be a good way to end the video, though. But, dang, that would suck if I had to go take all those cars and get them fixed because it fell off the bridge. Like, that would suck. And I need to try to find a realistic mod. Like, more on the gas because it seems like the gas does not seem like it loses a lot. But I'm going to have to mess with the settings and see if there's, like, a way to... Uh, bring the gas to go a little faster, like drain faster. That's what I wish. Because it doesn't seem like these gases drain faster. Especially in a truck like this. This is a diesel truck. Alright, cool. we're gonna probably just get these trucks in the shop. And look at that. Look how like, like nice that looks. But I am gonna have a. I need to find and see about the photo mod that I have. I don't know why it doesn't really work anymore. Because usually it's supposed to work. Alright. Bring that ramp down. Pass the nose. And we'll unload this truck. This truck is going straight in the back. So mostly my shop is just going to consist of custom cars, but if you want your car to stay mostly it's just custom cars that's what we're gonna push towards i'm gonna have parking spots in the front very soon i just again have not had time to actually do them i would say or do it i have a paint booth so that i feel better there's a lemony yours that we also have too and i am gonna have a wash station pretty much where i go and wash the car so where you know how it is right there mud tires and all this like that that won't be a thing and then we also can do 18 wheeler trailers which we are going to definitely start doing like more custom 18 wheeler trailers all right so we can get this one on the ramp as well it's going to get this one very soon there we go and then we'll come back here and get the Cadillac. Cadillac is definitely going to get worked on, but I'm just going to leave it um, in the, just in the service area. I'm not going to really worry about it right now. And it seems like this one has a lot. Oh, so this one has like air suspension. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and you can stick the top. This is actually really cool. I didn't know you could do all that. Where, like, the actual tires can, um... Oh! See, I didn't even know it did that. I didn't even know it had music to it. That's crazy. So what? You could drop the car down? stick the tires in a little bit oh that's crazy yeah th this car is gonna be really interesting even for a stock car to do that Lisa. okay let me let me turn that off before i get copyrighted because i probably would get copyrighted for that well actually no because it wouldn't it, it would have to be copyrighted if it was like in 30 seconds but that's fine but that's crazy that you could do this with that car. Yeah, we're just gonna leave this on the on in the service area until I can figure out what I want to do with this. We'll put this in. We'll put this right. Here. I don't want to put it in the. Well, actually, we could put it right here. This is obviously gotta get some work done because I don't. I love the air suspension, but not really. We can leave. 
But I like how that. Oh. Dude, that's crazy. That it can do that. But yeah. So yeah, you got the parts area, and I've thought about it. Like if I could bring a car right in here, I would. I wish I could. I might leave one of these trucks here and might take that Shelby. I think I'm gonna leave this one here and take that Shelby home. Cause that thing is pretty loud. I don't know. I might take that or take the demon. And again, that's the other benefit about it. You can take any car that you want to uh, home with you and don't have to worry about any repercussions. I think I'm gonna turn this one into my like go-to uh, towing rig because it's pretty already dirty and I don't want to bring that into the showroom. Oh, oh, oh! Get off it! Get off it! Get off it! I gotta go. I'm trying to get it straight. This thing is not like. Burnt. Yeah, I might take the maybe the Hellcat. Maybe because I think that thing would be too loud. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Hellcat. The Hellcat's a little more calm. Make sure I lock up. Nobody tries to think that it'd be a good idea to try. Back to my as well just put that one right there, but that's fine. All right. Put this up. Let's roll up. So yeah, so next episode will uh, pretty much do a full, I would say, more like just shop renovation, pretty much like a renovation episode. So we'll see how that goes. This one. Oh, no, I flipped. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That had to be the worst to end it. Oh God, hold on. Let me... Ah, dang, that's far. Oh, dang it. I don't know if anything is gonna be able to knock that thing over. Oh, I think he would be able to, but then I gotta drive all the way back. Oh, that's gonna, I hate, I would hate that. And I think if there's anything, it's gonna be this truck to do it. To actually knock it over. Oh, that's a drop. That's a drop. That's a drop. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I flipped this one too. <laughs> oh, this is the, okay. Well, I guess this is where we're going to end the episode. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I'm just going to have to fix these deals a little later and get them. I need to find the mod where you can just lift the truck up. Because there is a mod where you can actually just pull it and lift it up. But I hate that that's how it ended. With two cars flipping over. Oh, God. And one that I wanted to take, that one's flipped over there. So, um, I'm just going to fix it and take it back. But I hope you guys do enjoy it. And, you know, definitely leave a like. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.